What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Foul Fridays on Bobby Guy Films, the best waterfowl channel on YouTube. Ugh. So as you guys may have noticed, I love making these, uh, what, these videos to help you guys save money, these budget videos. Uh, the reason being is because when I started waterfowl hunting, I wish that there would have been just an onslaught, a library, a whole playlist, you know, of videos for me to go watch to help me save money. Now, that being said, there wasn't back then. Back when I started, this YouTube waterfowl deal just wasn't a thing like it is today. So, that's why I'm doing these. If you guys like these videos, you know, saving money on decoys, gear, guns, ammo, all that stuff, drop a comment down below, let me know, and if, if, if you guys enjoy them, I'll keep doing them, you know, I love giving you guys that tasty little foul footage. But guys, I am a budget-minded hunter. A lot of the stuff that I use today is a lot of the same stuff that I've used since I started hunting. I'll go through some of those examples in this video. So I could tell you guys, you know, go buy this exp expensive Sitka, go buy this expensive that or this, but you don't have to have all the expensive necessities as, you know, all these companies like to feed you. Oh, you have to have this stuff because it's the best. Everyone's doing it. No, no, no. I've done it for 10 plus years and these are my tools and tips to help you guys out. Let's go. So to get this thing started, I'm going to start with the most important tool that you're going to have to have, which is a shotgun. Now guys, I've had Benelli's, Mossberg's, Remington's, Tristar's. Now I have a Franchi, Franchi, however you want to pronounce it's fine, Franchi Affinity. And let me tell you, I love the gun, but budget guns, my, my gun's about $700. <clears throat> That's about a mid-price gun. Budget guns that are two, three, four hundred dollars will do the job, guys. Like I said, I love my Franke. It's a beautiful gun. I have almost one full season on it. It's $700. All the guns before that that I had were all two, three, four hundred dollar guns. For example, Mossbergs. I love Mossbergs. Mossberg 500s. Uh, 835s, all those great shotguns that you can get for two to three hundred dollars used. Those guns will do the job for you guys. You do not have to go spend thousand plus dollars on a Black Eagle 2 or something out of this world, especially when it you are a beginner. I, for one, have not had good luck with Remingtons, so I do recommend Mossberg and another company that I recommend aside from Franke is Stoger. Stoger is, is a very good gun. I have buddies that have those things and let me tell you they run just as good as my Franke. They're really comparable except the Stoger is probably a hundred to two hundred dollars cheaper. The second thing that is most important when buying your first waterfowl hunting gear would be camos. Now guys I have used the same Under Armour pullover hoodie slash jacket had quarter zip up deal for the last five years. I got it off a buy sell trade site for $50 used. It's got me, you know, through countless, countless days of bitter, bitter cold hunts. And let me tell you guys, you don't have to have the expensive stuff. Now, some of you know, I've done the review on Sitka. I love Sitka. I recently did upgrade to a Sitka jacket this last year, which I love it. But did I you know, did I need it? Was it an absolute necessity? No way. I, I didn't have to have it. It is a little warmer, I have to say. So, um, you know. Now, to go with camos. Guys, a lot of years of this. I rock these puppies out. These right here. Brown overalls, baby. Just normal overalls. As long as you have a camo top, if you're in a layout blind, a duck blind, your legs aren't going to matter. The only time it's going to matter is you know if your legs are explode exp explode if your legs exploded bob if your legs are exposed from the waist down obviously but brown if you're up against a tree hiding behind a tree and you know in timber or something like that and in a situation where you don't have to have uh waders brown you know brown overalls dude they've done the trick for me for a long time now that being said if you do have to have camo legs look these bad boys, Cabela brand zip up things. I hate them, actually. They're, they're somewhat warm, but the zippers both broke on both sides. I got those for 
$40, I believe, off the same buy sell trade site that I got my Under Armour pullover. So, like I'm saying, guys, I am a budget minded hunter. I always have been. This has been my hobby, not my job. The third most important thing that I recommend you get yep, waders. Now, guys, budget, budget, budget. These are Ducks Unlimited Mad Dog Gear. Old. Oh, these are the original pair of waders I ever did buy that I have ever used. I've duck and goose hunted over water for 10 plus years, 12 years. I'm not for sure exactly how long, but I take care of these things. I keep them, you know, in the back of my mind at all times when I have them on where I'm sitting so I don't rip them. So I don't, you know, when I'm going over a barbed wire fence so I don't catch them. Uh, when I'm sitting on timber with sticks so I don't puncture them, guys. These are old, they don't have one leak as I throw them on the floor. These waders cost me, I, man, it's been forever. I think they're 100, 110 bucks back then. So I bought these eight to 10 years ago is, is what I bought these things. It just goes to show guys, budget hunting. If, if you keep in mind taking care of your equipment, I know we're all hard on hunting gear, guys. I know, guns, waders, boots, calls were hard on this stuff camera equipment <laughs> but if you take care of this stuff guys just take care of it it'll last you a long time this just goes to show you i think it's really cool showing you guys this i didn't think about you know i, I didn't take into consideration how long i've actually had these but when i started making this video uh i was like wow i've had these for a while so i thought it'd be pretty interesting for you fellas my fourth and and final no i got five tips my fourth tip would be calls so duck and goose calls i recommend you go buy one of each now guys i know advertising and instagram and all that stuff they, they have great short videos and pictures guys i get that you don't have to buy the most expensive stuff you don't have to do what the pros are doing uh my first call was a quackhead from walmart twenty dollar call twenty five dollars at most i killed ducks with that thing for over five years. It took me a long time to invest in a better call. My calls now are used up and need replaced horribly, so I've been looking around, but I have a bunch of friends that still use cheap calls and just slay ducks, so don't think you have to go spend an arm and a leg on these calls. But if you are new and a beginner and you are trying to learn how to blow that duck call, I'll try to remember to put it right here, a little card, that is a link to uh, the video I put up last week, uh, how to blow a duck, duck call. We do a feeder, quack, and a comeback call. So go check that out. My fifth and final thing, recommendation. I, I don't know how to describe this. Recommendation on what you should buy. The fifth most important thing, let's put it that way, is a laydown blind, guys. A laydown blind. Now, I prefer the Power Hunter. The Power Hunter. Uh, I don't have one here with me now. I will this week. I'm going to get the trailer, all of our decoy stuff in it, and I'll be taking those blinds out and dumping them out, and we'll all be, I'll be doing it with you guys. What's in the blind bags? I think we have five or six of these things. Uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of junk in them. I know I've been telling you guys that. I'm really excited for this trailer video, so stick around for that. So guys, the reason I prefer a power hunter is because I have used a bunch of different blinds. Me and all my buddies that I hunt with, we, we have used a bunch of different ones. The power hunter, it is low profile. It's not two foot tall. It's not the Hilton Hotel on the inside. It is the bare essentials. It's low to the ground. And let me tell you, it is easy to hide in these things, guys. As far as framing in these things, you know, that's what makes laydown blinds so bulky is how much framing that you have to connect and do all this boogering with. The only framing is in the back. That's, that's it, is it, in the back portion where it folds out and you can rest against it. And I guess the other part is the hood that flips up on the top. The whole waist down, the foot bag portion, is literally a bag so it's on the ground the only thing you can see your legs in it these are not hilton hotels believe me guys you do not have to go spend a fortune on a hilton ass lay down blind that has every bell and whistle you don't you just need the bare minimum less is better when it comes to blinds guys you don't want to be sticking up off the ground two foot it, it just don't look normal why i'm throwing out these uh power hunters out there is because 
we got them on a budget. We bought five of these things at 80 bucks a piece, piece, piece used on the buy sell trade site yet again. So a lot of my stuff is used and I've got great deals on it guys. But like I said, I'm gonna have uh, all the blinds here, so I'm gonna actually do a review on them coming up, as well as what's in the what's in the blind bag or what's in the lay down blind video. So keep an eye out for that. Now the last thing, and actually might be the most important thing, is a headlamp, guys. A headlamp. Why I say this is the most important is because, guys. Most duck and goose hunting is gonna be in the AM. It's gonna be dark when you get there. You want some light. If you don't have any light and you're wading in the water or you're trying to sit decoys in the field, it is a royal pain in the ass. Buy you a headlamp, put extra AAA or AA batteries in your blind bag to take with you in case that thing goes dead. Because if it does go dead on you or you forget it, you're gonna be a mad mother. Oh, but that is gonna wrap it up here on Bobby Guy Films on this lovely Foul Friday. I hope you guys are enjoying these Foul Fridays. Go check out my other previous videos from last week, and I think I did a, a goose decoy one a month ago, and then the duck one last week on how to save money on your duck and goose decoys. But for now, I will see you on the next one. We're pumping out three videos a week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm getting all tongue twisted and can't talk right because it's early in the morning. Yeah, so have a good one, guys. Peace.